We got Morgan here. How are we doing? I'm doing all right. One and one so far. So, you know, position to hopefully move my way up and could be worse, could be better. Uh, are you comfortable talking about your deck and what you're playing and stuff like that? Uh, so what are you running today? Uh, I am running Sacred Hermit. So it's uh, the old Thrasios Timna, Hermit Druid, plus uh, Sacred Guide, which is uh, it's a white creature, one and a white. You exile cards from your deck until you hit a white card and then put that white card into your hand. Um, but you don't play any other white cards, so it's like an extra... It's a, That's on ETB that that happens? You no, know, it's, it's an activated ability for one and Okay. One. So it's like, um, basically you have a creature consult that isn't summoning six. So yep. You can just, you can get people who are holding a bunch of dispels and fluster storms and whatnot with Oracle plus Sacred Guide, or um, you can tutor into it with creature tutors pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, it just gives you a little bit of sort of flexibility in the long game. And you give up, you give up, Draneth, Swords, Ranger Captain, yep. and Silence, which are good cards, but yeah. you can live without them. I mean, it's it's cool because it's a second consult, which feels real good, or, yeah, or and, and it's consult. A, it's a fourth consult almost, right, because you've got... <laughs> Got consult tainted back, hermit druid, and then and then the sacred guide. So you said you're one and one. What were the pods like? How? What was your first pod? What were the commanders? Uh, so my first pod was uh, Elsha going first, then Najila, Armix Krom, and then me going last on Thrasios Timna. Uh, and that one uh, turns out that uh, turn two Remora and Bloom Tender is uh, is pretty good if you can untap with it. So uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't die in that immediate turn cycle, and then it was like we're just. Drawing cards, making mana, developing more and more mana. I think by the end, it wasn't even that late. It was like turn five. I think I had like 12 or 13 mana when I, I drew a ton of... There was a big counter war over a board wipe, and I drew like five or six cards off a of Mystic Remora, and that'll do it. Uh, what was the, so what were the commanders? So I'm really interested in what the meta is like out here. Yeah. What are you seeing people playing? What decks are you seeing a lot of? I heard there's eight Winotas registered today. Yeah, uh, so what are you seeing? I'm seeing a lot of, like, I've, I've faced down two Bruce Timna decks, and, of course, they're all built a little different, yeah. but, like, I'm seeing a lot of four-color pile, right? Yeah, I, I think the meta is, um, I would say it's, like, diverse. There's a lot of people who are playing um, commanders that are, you know, typically regarded as very strong, as opposed to, you know, maybe the more off-the-wall, weirder, fringe yep. choices. Um, but within that, there's a lot of different archetype variation. Like, uh, I've played against stacks, I've played against mid-range, turbo, um, but, yeah, mostly commanders that people would regard very highly. So, like, as I said, you know, Armix, Krom, Najila, Elsha are all, you know, pretty stapely. Like, Elsha's maybe a little bit on the fringe because her colors aren't the best, but yep. still a well-established deck. And then round two, we had, uh, we, I played against uh, Food Chain, Kazuru Kima, Kenrith, and then Thrasios Bruce. So, okay, yeah. So lots of, yeah. As lots of Thrasios Bruce. Four, four and five color piles, um, but definitely, I would say, you know, pretty good archetype diversity within the four and five color pile space, as opposed to, you know, everyone playing yep. Turbo, like Timno, whatever, Turbo Nas, Krom, whatever, Turbo Nas. There's a, a decent mix. What are some of your favorites to win? Are there any specific players and or decks that you find are really going to be putting in work? Um, well, both uh, both me and uh, and Sick Robot are are on. The, our decks are four cards different. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a decently well positioned deck into a mixed meta because um, you don't have anything that you like really really struggle with. You know, some decks like Turbo decks really struggle when there's a lot of Winotas running around because they're slamming down their Rule of Laws and Thalias and whatever. Um, we're pretty happy playing through like almost any stacks. Rule of Laws are moderately annoying, but with both Sacred Guide and Hermit Druid. You can consult through them relatively yep. easily. Don't care at all about Nullrod. In fact, we play Collector Oof. Um, creature activated abilities, uh, like the Chris Trenum and Linvala, are a little annoying, but those aren't quite as common. Um, I chose not to run Suppression Field, and I am really, really regretting I mean, it. Even that wouldn't be too bad, because it's mostly just the mana that we're, we're worried about. So I, I think that that's uh, a well-positioned deck. Obviously, uh, Sick Robot had the buy from uh, winning the the LCQ last night. Or no, awesome, doing, well doing top LCQ. fouring in the top LCQ. In the LCQ last night, um, I picked up a win in round one. His pot is actually still ongoing right now. Oh shit! It might be heading to a draw, so he'll be one. Assuming that doesn't end right there, he'll be one zero and one, which I think makes him pretty well positioned to make. Yeah. Top so you guys are feeling good about yeah, about sick. Get, That's awesome. If you can get like two wins in the next two rounds, then he'll be three two and one. That that probably puts you pretty high in the top 60. Yep. Um, 
I'm also hopeful for myself. But there's lots of uh, good players. I know uh, Gustav's here. He's done well at a ton of tournaments. Uh, Kolkio, who's he won in Malmo. He uh, uh, he won one of the qualifiers last year. He's currently two and zero. So he's. I know uh, Rivers here, and he absolutely ate his pod one alive. I don't know about game two. I, yeah, I, I was sitting next to them game one, and it was like. He just had it with not even trying. Like, cool, Oracle consult? Oh, well, yeah, I guess that does it. I don't know. How, I don't know he said happened. he had double back up, like, the yeah. whole thing, just the nut hand, like, perfect. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll definitely do it. Awesome. Well, I'll come bother you again probably, like, as the day goes on. Uh, I'm going to find one or two more people to talk to and then maybe try to find a gas station hot dog again. So uh, thank you for taking a few minutes. I really appreciate yeah, no it. No problem. We got Alana here. We're going to talk with Alana. Talk with me. How are we doing? Not great. No? no. Well, is it because of games? Yeah, um, the same thing that happened in Marchesa is happening here. What's going on? People don't listen to me. You know, I say we're going to lose to this if we don't do this, and um, that's what happens. And it's just been like you, like threat assessment and trying to direct the game, direct threat assessment, and nobody's giving you the time of day. No. And have they? And and when the game ends, and you're like. Are you are are people like yes we should have listened or are no, they making excuses? They, they, won't, they won't admit it. They won't admit it. Bummer. Yeah. I hate to hear it. So what what's your so you got one game right? No, not today. Oh no! I thought you had I one game. Today. I have a draw. I won a game yesterday. Okay. I saw one of the games that you were sitting at. It looked like was it the game over there with a the Yiva player? Yeah, I was sitting in that that one like 40 minutes over time. It went way over. Yiva is a fucking house, huh? No. 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 Yiva got ignored, and I and and by the time it was getting ignored, I was like, we need to deal with this, or we're going to lose. And they're like, no, it's fine. And I'm like, okay. And so they killed me through combat damage because I had a way to deal with it. Yep. But I needed my next turn. And they're like, no, I'm going to kill you. I'm like, okay. Yeah, be like, all right, go enjoy losing yep. to the most brutally oppressive, just like answer everything with three creatures. Yeah, yeah. And then like the, the Yava player sloppily played through like their whole line. It was really bad. Oh, it was really, really bad. And then the Heliod player like trying to respond was also really sloppy. And it was very frustrating. You hate to hear it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that it's been a little bit tough. Uh, I've been having my first two games were hot, even though I lost. But the last two games were the last one was like at least like I played some spells. But the third game was like no good. No, my, my last game was um, I lost to turn one uh, Nas. Yeah, I didn't get to play the game. Okay, I heard uh, I heard people, but I heard about some people lo lo losing to, like a, turn like an early main phase Nas. This was a turn one main phase Nas. Brutal. Yeah. Was that the game? Was River in that one or no? No. Okay, yeah, River was just telling me about losing to that shit. So, um, well, I'm sorry to hear it. But listen, are you having? Are you at least having a little bit of fun? Yeah, I love magic. There you go. I love magic, so it's still fun. That's what matters. So I think we talked a little bit yesterday about the meta. Are you finding it to be about what expected? Yeah, pretty much. It's like you know, Nas playing CEDH. Yeah, Nas stacks. Um, I haven't seen her. I saw no. I saw Hermitrude yesterday, but uh, not today. But I know there are like more Hermitrude decks here. So. All right. Um, so what do you what do you think you're we're gonna see in the, the top sixteen? Probably with a Kenrith player. Yep. Probably uh, Reed. Yeah, yeah. Just, they want at least one of them two cats, yeah, right? Yeah, and and probably uh, a Timna deck. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. A Tim Timna something, whatever Timna it something. is. Timna something. A Thrasio something, all Thrasio that. Thrasio something, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm really excited about the games. And honestly, like, I was I was expecting more of the, like, Marquesa shenanigans of, like, oh, there's this, like, crazy, like, wild card deck. But it is not. It, we're not seeing that shit happen out here. It is just the tier zero decks doing tier zero shit, right? Yeah. They're doing all the broken stuff. It's pretty much what I expected. I unlucky basically but i think i'm playing pretty well so and it's Players fun so. yeah well this is us we got, oh are live in the thanks for talking good luck so i just played with uh juan juan 
and uh, he he definitely he didn't win, but he definitely waxed my ass for sure. I had a real bad showing with Dalsum, but uh, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about you. How have your games been this weekend? Uh, first game was fine. I won. Yeah. The second game was not good. I lost. The third game okay. I lost. What uh, what deck are you playing? I'm playing Rocco Cabaretti. Okay. Uh, and it's a like food chain, like very linear food chain. Uh, Food chain and dark side loops, trying to go fast, trying to win turn three, turn two if possible, turn four. It can also has some kind of. I, I'm playing Naya, so I don't have counter spell, so I run a lot of silences to try to to have some kind of interaction. I saw. Plan. I saw you were doing a little bit of a go wide strategy because things were very mid range this deck. Do you have a like go wide closer or any sort of stuff like that? No, I, I can cast Finale, but Finale is there to get to get dark side. Yep. The plan is to is to win with. Uh, terror of the Peaks. Angel. Oh, cool. There's a Terror of the Peaks in there? Th th that's the <gasps> this finisher. is so cool. This is the finisher. Either with Food Chain or with Emiel or, um, or Timur Sebatuk. You just keep bouncing. I game. love this. So Terror of the Peaks I see in so many games that are not... I've never seen it in a CEDH game. Maybe once or twice. So yeah, It's the finisher because you can always get it... Once you get to Infinite Mana, you can get it with Roku and you just slam Terror of the Peaks on the table and keep bouncing. And bounce. That's super cool. So um, are you seeing, so something I've been talking about a lot this weekend is the meta, the different decks that people are seeing. Are you seeing a lot of decks that you expected to see? Have there been any decks that you've seen that really stood out? I've played some decks that I didn't see at all, some homebrews, and then I've seen Blue Farm because everybody, yep. Blue Farm is the best deck. And Timna Thrasios. Timna X, Timna X, or, Thra or, or uh, Thrasios X. I've seen a lot of... Uh, Bruce Thrasios. Bruce, Bruce Thrasios, I haven't played it, but... I've seen two, my first two games, Bruce Thrasios. I think a, a, a Portuguese player is playing with... I think you played him, Guilherme, maybe, the guy with the glasses. Oh, oh you played ball? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a friend of yours? Yeah, yeah, because we are... Uh, there's a Portuguese league, a Portuguese okay. CDH league. I think we came five, six or seven. I'm not sure how many. Okay. And we're all here. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys all made it out. We have a, you, a little Portuguese CDH scene. It's a, listen, if you guys are part of that scene and the cream of the crop, you're representing a very strong scene. You guys are great players. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, so who's your favorite to win? Like, are there any particular players that people should look out for? Anybody who you think is, like, very strong? Who? I mean, I clearly like your squad, right? R I'm rooting for my squad, for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. I want someone from Portugal to take home the, the time twister. Beautiful. I'd love that, to that's, see it. That, that's what I want. But when you come with your... Out, the Spanish players, they're looking pretty strong. We played against Comandante. Yes. The guy that has the YouTube channel, too. He's great. And he, he's very nice. He's a very nice person. And he's 3-0, so I think things yes. are going well for him. There's he the, plays very well. He does. He really... And part of it is... The attitude, you know, he was smiling, having a good time the whole yeah, time. Yeah, and I think he was politing really well. He, yep. was, he was not getting anyone mad, trying, yep. trying to force uh, other people to do what, what you want. Yes. And I think he played well against us, and I think he, he did well in that. So if he keeps it up, I think it's... I think he's going to be very strong. He's going to be very strong. And there's also a very good Spanish player. Yep. If that is his friend, maybe he can win it too. I, I'm rooting for Europe. No? Yeah, of course, of course. The other side of the ocean... Yeah, there, no. There's a couple of people who came from last year, like the Into the North guys, yeah, and like some the, some people, the North, the, they're, they're good. Into the, into the North guys are like the, the obvious choice. Yeah, they're, they're but, good, but, but, like, but I'm rooting for for you. I would love to see you, uh, somebody from your squad, take it home, just because like you guys are rolling deep. There's a whole pile of you, which I think is really really cool. And when a squad all rolls together to represent a specific meta, that's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. we are the guy. I'm not on the organization, but the other guys from Portugal, they actually run the, the Portuguese league where the, okay. we have regular tournaments. It's not huge tournaments like this, but some have like 60 people. So it's kind of good to, to train and we train a lot on. I guess oh, so you, so you guys, the the league games are basically at this level and you guys yeah, do them constantly? It, yeah, at least four or five times per year we have okay. 50 person tournaments. That's awesome. That's, That's good. Cool. Good size. Prices are good. Dual lands and things like that. So everybody, if you want to come to Portugal, check out Hell the yeah. Portuguese League and come to the tournaments. They're really fun. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes, Juan. Thank you so much, and good luck for the rest of the weekend. You'll see me doing this some more. Good and to you too. Thank it's you. A pleasure to play against you too. Absolutely. Hopefully, you hopefully too. we get it next time, and I have a little better showing. So. Okay. Thank you. Bye. My pleasure. Thank you.